Okay, so knowing how to make a basic sponge is a great skill to have. So you'll use the same recipe in things like cupcakes, birthday cakes, Victoria sponges, actually pretty much most cake recipes out there. So here's how to make your basic sponge. Okay, so the basic rule of thumb when making a basic sponge recipe is that you need twice as much of the butter, caster sugar and self-raising flour in ounces than you do the number of eggs. So for example, to make about 9 cupcakes, you'll need 4 ounces of caster sugar, self-raising flour and butter and 2 eggs. And for a good sized sponge cake, you'll need to round that up to an 8 ounce and 4 egg mixture. So, the first step is to get yourself a large mixing bowl and pour in the caster sugar and the butter. We now need to cream the butter and the sugar together. And what that involves is working the two ingredients with a wooden spoon until they're thoroughly combined. And it might also help if you bring the butter to room temperature beforehand. It will take a bit of patience, but you should end up with something looking like this. You'll then need to sift over your self-raising flour over the caster sugar and the butter. And the next step is to crack in the two eggs into the mixing bowl. Now you need to mix all of these ingredients together until they're all thoroughly combined. And when you've got something that's nice and smooth like this, that is literally it and you've made your sponge mixture. And then all you need to do is grease yourself a baking tin or a cupcake tin, pour in the mixture and cook on 180 degrees for between 20 and 30 minutes, all depending on how big your cakes are. And check out these couple of recipes of mine which use this sponge mix to make them with. 